Wow. Hello. Hello, Devor. Hello. <laughs> How are you feeling? Excited, nervous, scared, happy, proud, all of it together, you know, like it's a dream come true. Yeah. Another dream come true. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same here, like nervous. And I'm not normally nervous about our live broadcast, but I have like a excited, nervous energy. And thank you so much to all of you who are here to do this with us. We've never done anything like this before, but then we also haven't got to make an album like this before. And um, for those of you who are new to me or Devor or both of us, our story is we met in 2012 and we immediately felt this feeling that we, was, we, we could work together and uh, we made a music album in 2014 um, around the same time that we started working together on all of the recordings we do now. In fact, it was 2013. But we both said we feel like this album is the album that we've been working towards making all of this time. So um, it's, it's pretty amazing that today is release we're maturing. day. We were maturing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've, yeah, yeah, that's true. We were like a, like a, like a wine that needed to kind of sit and yeah, but um, so thank you for being here. And um, what we're going to do in, in just a moment is we're going to play the album in its entirety. Um, and then at the end of the album, which is 44 minutes, we'll do some questions. So we've had a few that were pre-submitted by members of our portal community. Um, but if you want to, I believe you all have the chat box on Zoom. Feel free to type a question about any of the songs or anything that comes to you by the time the album has finished. And um, we'll talk about the songs, the videos, the album. And we will just share with you that the whole album is tuned to 528 hertz, which is sometimes called the miracle note. It's an acknowledged healing frequency. So even though it's an album of songs, we see it as transformational music and transformational songs. And Devor tuned everything to 528 hertz. So uh, our hope was to create something that has a soothing tone to it, even though some songs are a little more energized than others. Yeah, Anything my musicians' that? friends are already used to coming here and saying, where are we tuning? Are we tuning 444? Because in order to get note C to be tuned to that frequency, 528, which is the miracle tone, the, the connection the frequency between um, DNA in the human body and uh, cosmos. It's a beautiful frequency. We need to tune our instruments so that A is not 440 or 442, which is usually used in pop music, but they tune to 444. And now they're used to it when they're coming here and they're lovely. I love working with my musician friends here in Slovenia. They're they're awesome. And that room that you're in right now is actually the it's room where, where Devor and all the musicians recorded. And then I recorded yeah. the vocals here in the studio in California. And uh, yeah, so many people, so many talents have been involved in bringing this to you. So thank you for being here, those of you who are here live. And hi to those of you who are here on the replay. I just felt like one thing that I think Devor and I would love to acknowledge is all of the talent that went into this album. So even though he and I were at the head of the project, Devor had so many amazing Slovenian musicians and guest vocalists, um, and then we the team as well, and also the video team, the filmmaking team, who we've released three videos so far, one other is already filmed and there's another one being filmed in about a week. So there will be five, maybe six videos for this album by the time it's all done, we think. Um, but also the team at Lee Harris Energy who've been amazing at helping me pull together this release. It's amazing. You wouldn't, it, it's mind blowing how much goes into a 45 minute uh, album, but it, it's a lot. So yeah, I just want to give everyone a shout out who, who worked with us to bring this to life. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and Rebecca, who did the video, by the way, and Trent, who did the amazing artwork, too. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Devor? <laughs> My God, you know, like listening now when it's done and there's you don't listen of, you know, 
mm. you don't have it in your ears with still adjusting things you we know we can't change it now yeah yeah it's it's a different listen and i'm really proud i'm really proud like um the whole thing and then of course it went through my mind every memory with each of my musician or singer friend that they were here and i would remember a smile when the, you know when when he played something or or when something happens because it's it's really even though as you said yeah i'm kind of um monitoring that the idea comes through but the way i work is that i always appreciate when when the musicians bring in themselves so for instance when barbara the violinist is here she would always ask me do, do you like this tone do you like this vibrato do you like that vibrato because i'm not um with a lot of instruments i'm not uh, i'm not the master of instruments so they they would show me variations even or the guitar or something you know we would we would search for the sound and sometimes we're almost there but something is still not there but when it's there me and martin like we look at each other we really know it's there so you know things like that um are are really lovely um it, it's a joy creating this um and i think it shows it's it, it shows uh, in the energy of it yeah 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 and and yeah that that level of mastery that i think has been throughout the whole project and and i think we worked out there's about 60 plus people who are involved in this album including the filmmaking team it may even be almost 70 now because i know the last video shoot there were 11 people um but yeah for me too you know it took i went back to when the song inside love came on i went back to canada because we were in canada doing the intuitive power events and we were there for a week while I was listening to mixes over and over and you and I were going back and forth with notes. And in a way, we didn't even know we were doing an album then. We knew we were doing a song and we kind of realized we were gonna work to make the album happen. So, yeah. That is funny, we wanted to do an album for a few years, but it never happened. And then when we said, okay, we're not doing album, we're just we'll just put songs out and then the album happened. So, well, so actually you go. get, you. Yeah, you know, I was so Devor and I communicate a lot using an app called Marco Polo, which is brilliant. It's because, you know, he's in Slovenia, or I'm here in California, but we um, we use these video messages that we leave for each other. And I mean, sometimes we'll leave like 15 a day, especially if we've got a lot going on with songs. And uh, I remember him leaving me a Marco going, oh God, how, how are we going to get an album done? I, I don't know how we're going to do it with all the other stuff we do. And I was like, don't worry, we'll just release singles. And he was like, oh, okay. And then as soon as we released <laughs> the, the, the first single, we suddenly realized if we were, because we were serving our portal community, that if we then took those songs and embellished them a bit more, or added some extra layers, then it was going to be easy to make the timeline work. So yeah, so for any of you who've enjoyed it, um, you can get a high quality digital download or a CD or a vinyl if you go to awakenalbum.com. You can also get some fancy clothing like I'm wearing. We've got hoodies, we've got t-shirts, we've got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yours, yours should arrive any day now. Um, but we had some questions and actually, we actually had a few questions from our portal members that were pre-submitted and then we've got some from you. So I'm gonna bring Noah onto the broadcast to, uh, to, to give us the questions that he already had submitted. Hey Great Noah. Guys. Hey, congratulations. It was really fun to listen to it um, with you guys and with everybody that's here. Uh, I just, I loved it. And it, I, for me, it had a different listen too, um, to divorce point that knowing that it's finally out, um, it was really fun. So thanks for doing this. Um, yeah, I had a few questions, so I'll, uh, I'll just read a few of these and then Lee, I might turn it over to you, um, to do some more. Perfect. So the first one reads, um, wondering where the influence of the jazz element of Awaken came from. Is it a, jo a genre you have always liked and been influenced by, or did it just come up in the process of creating? <laughs> um, it's a genre that have has very mixed feelings in me. I um, when I was when I was like 17 years old, I went from Slovenia to Boston to join Berklee College of Music, which is like known for producing amazing jazz musicians. 
And I really got fed up with jazz. I couldn't stand it for years. I just couldn't because, you know, we were in, in, in like bands and everything. And it would like every song would you would recognize it for five seconds and then everybody would start to play their solo. So the drums, the piano would do the, the saxophones were all over the place. So I couldn't listen to this anymore. Uh, so that's one side of jazz for me. Um, but then the other side, uh, I think that Awaken could have influenced me in the back or in my heart is because at that time when I came to America, I, learned about George Benson, Luther Vandross, and all these R&B soul singers, uh, Patty Austin, all of that. And it was just like, I was listening this all the time. This to me was like my music. And it probably shows in some of the, in some of the um, rhythmics and syncopations and everything. But the other side of Awaken was that I got to work with like really, really good trumpet player. And I think he gave the soul to that song. Mm -hmm. um, he came with all the flutes and, and horns and everything. And we, we would just layer it and, and with the muted trumpet and with the horn flugel and everything. And we just created this beautiful sound. And um, he has a special uh, playing style that he um, loses a lot of breath, N not loses, like you hear a lot of breath when, when he's playing. Uh, it's his style. And I was like, first, when I was hearing this, I was like, oh, that won't, that won't work. But he said, no, trust me, it will. When you put a reverb and everything, when that air starts to become like, almost like a wind underneath the trumpet, you'll see you love it. And I trusted him and we did record the trumpets for this song and I loved it when I started to mix it and then I brought him back into all the songs you you probably heard a lot of songs have that um, trumpet style in them also so yeah so that's my influence George Benson, Luther Vandross, uh, Al Jura, all of those uh, musicians and singers I loved listening to their music. Nice thanks Devor. Um, the next question uh, Ask, do you have a particular favorite song off of the album and why? Uh, yeah, so Noah, Noah told us this question was coming and, and I realized for me, this is probably the first album I've released. This is the fourth full length music album I've released in literally, it's 20 years was my first one 20 years ago. And I think this is the first album I actually, I'm, incredibly happy with every single song when the album's released. Normally it takes me time to like some of the songs or to not be disappointed in what happened in mixing or the production. Um, so in that way, I don't have a favorite song because I, I'm really, uh, I, I love the worlds of all of them and I'm really proud of the mixes and everything. But I think the favorite song that my body has and that is most imprinted on my body is the song To Live Another Day. Um, it's the middle of the album, um, or it's the end of side one, if you're on the vinyl. And um, I wrote the song for my father, who was diagnosed with cancer uh, in spring, summer of 2019. And I went home to visit him. And um, when I got home, I sat at the piano and wrote 90% of that song. And a, almost a year later, he died. Um, he died on April 25th. And um, I remember like the day he died, sitting back at the piano and just playing the song again. And I brought it to DeVore and I was a little confused because I thought this can't really fit in this album. This is very personal. It's not necessarily kind of what we're doing with the lyrics of the other ones, but we agreed we would record it for his funeral. So we recorded it for his funeral with the piano and the vocals. And then DeVore added those layers of arrangement that you hear on the album version. So um, it still brings up a kind of imprint for me and my body when I hear it. And even today, it made me cry while I was listening, which is rare for me. But um, I think it's because those vocals were recorded literally in the days and the week after he died. So um, and then DeVore did a beautiful ending for the song, uh, which was just kind of magical. So yeah, that one probably. Yeah, cool. And you sing this um, 
it was so, um, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but like when your, when your father was dying, he was actually alone in the hospital of, also of COVID, right? Yeah. And at that time in Slovenia, we almost didn't have that problem. Like we were very, very good with the first wave. Um, like, like really almost uh, incredible, incredible how we, how we went through. But now, so I couldn't really relate to that. I mean, relate to that loneliness in a hospital. Yeah, yeah. But now that Slovenia is on the peak of, of second wave and people are actually, we're losing people, uh, elderly people um, who have to be alone while they die. It's, it, it, it does touch me in a different way. This is what I, I kind of um, reminded myself of. See, I'm a little <laughs> emotional. But yeah, it's sad. It's really sad that people have to go that way. Yeah. 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 So, but okay, <laughs> brief. <laughs> My favorite song, um, also in the body, would be Awaken. Just because of what I said before, it's kind of. Uh, my acknowledgement that we could produce something of what I adored um, when I was going out of my teens. Um, so we could kind of bring it back to life in a modern way. Um, that's why maybe to my body it feels so good. But I'm really, really proud of All Who Walk the Earth. And this is the voice because they are special songs. They're not like typical songs. They have something um they're very brave i think they're very brave and they work so i'm also very very musically proud of this too but i love all i mean i put my heart in all so it's 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 hard to to name favorites you know but that would be my scale <laughs> yeah <laughs> thanks guys um i'll read one more and it reads I love the star, how the star imagery in the photo at the end of Awaken was seen in other parts of the lighting overlooking the skaters on the rink. How did that idea slash concept come about? And for those who may not have seen it yet, this, they're referring to the, um, out, the video we put out this week for the song Awaken. Yes, which if you go to the YouTube channel um, is there. So um, yeah, it's Awaken, it came out on Wednesday. Yeah, um, it was, uh, the idea actually was in a way evolving because um, I know we needed like a director for that video um, um, who is skilled. Um, and he had this idea um, with a skater and I was like, ooh, Awaken and Skater, you know, because all these videos were like in nature before inside love and all who walk the earth. And I was like inside ring and the skater. But then I thought, what if his relationship is with himself as a young skater who, who kept on falling down, like um, he couldn't overcome a mistake. And then Aaron, the director said, oh, I don't think I want to have a child. Maybe we can show this in a different way. But then we found a, a young skater and I showed him the photo and Aaron, Aaron was like, wow, yeah, that, that's lovely. And then he wrote the whole story around it and he really sequenced it and it was beautiful. But the idea was that, that we would have this photo of a young child who fell down and then at the end would be the young child who stood up so that we would, he would heal the ch child wound. But then we said, what if, what if, it's not the child that healed, but him. Like, what if if the guy now left the child um, back and, you know, his big performance. So we re-edited the video a little bit at the very end because we had this mixture of uh, him and the little child uh, skating almost up to the end. And then we dropped that and we would just give the, the, the adult skater, you know, his performance and that light, uh, just happened because Darko, our cinematographer, um, you know, was putting lights and everything, and and these beautiful shots were there with a the light. And I guess Aaron cho chose this photo with a light to represent a light or a medal or whatever, you know, like uh, um, um, 
like how different would a life be if you didn't uh, got caught in a mistake when you were growing up or like whenever in the past. So it's really a video. I think we try to give it like a symbology of awaken and there's the lyrics that you wrote Lee about future calling you rather than staying in the past. So, so this is, this is what, this is representing a kind of um, uh, life if you didn't got uh, caught up and pulled back by your your uh, mistakes in life yeah does this answer it Noah? <laughs> yeah i think so, I think did, so. did, did he good. get a prize noah for that answer yeah that was, handing out prizes that was award-winning devore good like. devore you win a cd Oh, good. Of Awaken. Yeah, and hoodie, please. <laughs> and a hoodie. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Noah, I think, was that it from your side? Yeah, I think those were the three uh, from my side. So do you have some that you want to take uh, yeah. over there? Okay, great. I'll turn it over Fantastic. to you. Then. Thank you. We have a few. And actually, there's a lovely comment uh, I just want to read out, which came from Courtney. Who we, who we know and love so well. Courtney, it was so sweet to see you in the chat today. Um, you basically left a message saying, so beautiful to hear they called us down. Pure bliss and such wonderful memories. Thank you both. Um, so Courtney was there the year that we wrote They Called Us Down in Costa Rica at Soul Magic. And um, so to anyone who's been to Costa Rica with us, hi. Um, but also any of you who've been in the portal for the last few years, because these songs have sometimes been birthed in the workshop room live around the themes that are going on, but also in response to channeled messages. So if there's a channel from the Z's, then um, I've kind of inserted some of those lyrics into the songs so that we can create the, the frequency. So I just wanted to acknowledge based on Courtney's comment, how, how our community really writes the stories of the album in so many ways. Um, so Devor, this might be a good one for you. Um, thank you so much for the music. Do the songs target a particular part of the body? As I listen, I feel activated and free. Um, yeah, this is, this is what we spoke in the beginning. They are tuned to, to to the frequency of uh, 528, which is the, in short, it's called Miracle Tone, um, but it's actually uh, the connection frequency of the body to cosmos. It's, it's a healing frequency. Um, and uh, if we tune, tune the instruments, the A, uh, note A is tuned to 444 hertz, then the C will be uh, five to eight. And in that way, I always uh, made sure that we have a note C in our songs. So mm -hmm. it's all over uh, the album. Um, and yeah, the body, f I guess the body feels differently. And, and just it's just our natural uh, frequency. Um, there's the idea that uh, the tunings started to grow away from it with the purpose of uh, keeping people out of our natural frequency. So, um, so easier to control. So that's why we decided to bring it back, <laughs> mm -hmm. bring it back. And uh, this album was tuned there, but all the channel, the channeling uh, stuff that we do um, uh, and support it with music or the uh, energy speaks or the, the new, book. the energy. audio book. Yeah new energy alchemy meditations they all uh go way beyond just five to eight they are tuned to specific chakras or planets or pythagorean scale that does that does different things to the body so i really uh, spend a lot of time creating for me this cheat sheets with these frequencies that I use now and the harmonies that are coming out of this are just amazing to the ear. They could be unusual, but the body just goes into it. So I use a lot of this in our arrangements. Um, I couldn't go really deep with that on a song type of album because, you know, all the musicians need to be in tune. It's really weird. 
that would be weird. But underneath our meditations and channels, I use even more of that. But probably the body wakes up because it gets the nice frequency that it can tune into and probably feels happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm really happy to let you all know that on Monday, um, our next Impact the World episode, which is the free weekly audio and video podcast that I put out every week, Devor is my guest. So yes. we get to speak to Devor for, I think, pretty much almost an hour, um, not only about all of the work that Devor has been doing all of his life um, in music, in television, um, but also how he approaches the healing frequencies of sound these days. So that's a brilliant interview, and I think you'll you'll enjoy it. That will be uh, free on Monday on the YouTube channel and at Apple Podcasts. So very cool. Okay, um, let's see here. All the songs I are so. An answer now. <laughs> What's that? One that I can answer. Okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, um, it's been a tiring year, hasn't it, Devor? Um, well, all the songs are just so powerful, but I find this is the voice even more so. It blows me away. Will you be making one of your amazing videos for this? I'm also so impressed by the female vocalist on several of the tracks. Would love to hear more about her. Well, I can start, Devor. So there are actually a few different female voices on the album. So Anna is the female vocalist in This Is The Voice, and she's incredible. And Devor um, shared with me her entry for the Eurovision Song Contest for Slovenia, um, which I loved. And her, her vo voice and her vocals on that song are just extraordinary. Um, and then we also have on Awaken, um, I'm blanking on everyone's name now. Christina. Say that again. Christina. Christina, perfect. And she's got beautiful vocals. And then we have Ava. Devor's, Devor's love, who's amazing. And she actually is weaved throughout pretty much all the songs. And you'll occasionally hear her just behind me. Devor said that she harmonizes very well with my voice. So um, Ava is also throughout the whole album. And if you listen really close, you'll also hear Stephen, who is yep. there too, um, in the choirs, in the backing choirs of several songs. And for any of you who've got the CD or the vinyl, um, or if you have downloaded the digital album from us, from our store, you'll get a PDF of the CD booklet. So you'll see all the credits and all the names, as well as all the lyrics and the artwork. And um, I don't uh, know if we're doing a video yet um, for This Is The Voice. We're not sure. Maybe. Uh, it just depends. The next videos that are coming are We Were Born and To Live Another Day. But I, I will just say about This Is The Voice, Devor and I, back in 2014, I think, 2014, we did two projects called Adventures in Sound, where I created layers of vocals, um, and I shipped them to Devor, um, and then he added, in fact, I think I mixed them first, and then I shipped them to you, and then you added some layers and did some extra things. So in a way, this was kind of like bringing the energy of that more abstract musical vocal piece into song form um is there anything you want to add about this is the voice um yeah anna is incredibly talented singer i know her since she was young she used to sing in my television song when she was young so so when i called her now she was really happy you know um and yeah i told her would you be a voice? And she was like, what? <laughs> I said, the song is, this is the voice and I need a voice. I need a voice that was lost alone and gave birth to herself, like to itself. And she was like, hmm, will I be able to do that? I said, yes, you will. So <laughs> she, she one evening uh, went into her studio because uh, we weren't allowed to travel around, you know, uh, at the time and she did like uh, five or six takes or like throughout the whole song and uh, and I then I got the files and then I chose the ones and replaced them and created this this uh, story of a voice that is closed down doesn't want to express into like a full expression because I think the voice is something we we don't use enough 
not not just in singing but in expressing sometimes people just you know pull back and don't say what they what they feel or what they want to say so that was that was her role to be the voice waking up and yeah it was lovely and uh, we also got sergey the singer on uh, uh, they called us down um, he's he's in a really famous metal metal rock band here in Slovenia, and he's amazing. So I said to Lee, "What do you think? What if we have like really a metal singer?" Like, <laughs> and I'm always a little bit afraid. I used to write to Lee, "Don't kill me" before I express something. But I don't know Lee's as crazy as I'm with this. I things. love it. I'm always like, yeah, I'd love that. I'm not at all opposed. And he did an amazing job. He's also in the choirs on Roads to Forever, yeah. the opening track too. Yeah, he's got an incredible voice. The voice, yeah. yeah. So we have a lot, and Ava, Ava's voice really goes well with yours, mm. and Stephen's also. I think we found a formula. Uh, yours, mine, Ava's, and Stephen's voices, when they are, um, are supporting yours, it's really like a, some texture happens. It's really nice. It, it's like really white. Um, In so our heads, we're like the new ABBA, right? The four of us. That's how, that's how we see it. Um, <laughs> no, and actually, it's interesting. We found the formula. We uh, th this is surprising to Devor and I, but um, we're already working on the sequel to Awaken because we had another 12, 13 songs that are of this same kind of genre, same kind of feeling. Some of them that you may have heard on Portal tracks. Um, so we decided to just go straight into uh, producing those now. Um, because in a way it will be a, a sequel to Awaken and um, it's going to be called Timelines and we're targeting having that ready for release by next September, if possible. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um, let me see. There was a, a question here. Um, Hi, Lee and DeVore. I'm curious about the album art. What is the story, inspiration and connection behind it all? Well, first of all, the first thing that kind of happened with the album art. So I have a very good friend, um, Henrik, Henrik Simonson, who's an incredible artist. And um, he's based in Berlin now, but he's Danish. And he did the artwork for my album, Golden World, in 2011. And if you've ever seen the video for my song, Fast, Henrik is the painter painting the wall behind me. Um, while I'm singing to the camera. So I asked Henrik if he would, um, we were putting together the Lee Harris Music website and Trent, who's our brilliant designer said, I really like that lettering. Maybe we could use that on the website. So I asked him to also then write Devore's name. And then we were like, let's get him to write the, the name of the album too. So um, it started with his lettering and then we shipped it to Trent and um, we really had just a very intuitive conversation with Trent as we normally do. And then he goes away with his intuition and comes back with ideas for us. But I think it was very quick, the Awaken album cover, wasn't it, Devor? Yeah. Yeah. It's so more, um, this is more, more where the two of you are involved. Um, but I was like, when I saw it, I really loved it. So yeah. It was yeah. Really yeah, we wanted something really classic. But also what I loved about it is you've got the fire in the words awaken, both the way they're written and the way that Trent has colored them. And then that mandala that sits behind the words, to me, as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's a temple. That feels like a, a temple, an energy temple. And it just fits with the tuning of the album and everything. And uh, Trent's done a beautiful job on the CD and the vinyl artwork too. Um, so thanks for the, uh, thanks for the question. Um, Della has asked, can we look forward to more instrumental only albums from DeVore? Hmm. Of course we can, but it more depends on Lee because he keeps me busy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Della. Although I'm the biggest fan of my favorite album of DeVore's is Seven Rays. And um, so we have what we you know, one of the, it kind of came to me middle of last year to really focus more on music, not to abandon anything else I do, but I realized I needed to bring it 
bring it up a little more. And um, so Golden World Music is the record company I've had for 10 years and we've kind of just let it sit there dormant. But now what we're doing is wanting to bring out more albums through Golden World Music, including Divorce. So my hope is that in the next year or so, we can also get some of his releases onto iTunes and onto Spotify. Um, our next release will be Transmissions, which for any of you who took our course in August, you already have the full album that we ended up making for Transmissions. That isn't fully instrumental, but there's a lot of instrumental on those tracks and that will come out on Spotify and iTunes in April. It's a really beautiful album. I, it, it started as, as something simple, but it just involved. This is when we didn't have a plan and it happened and it happened amazingly. Like I'm still surprised what we created there. I think people uh, will love that. Those that don't know it yet, I think, I think you will love it. It has a lot of instrumental, a lot of instrumental and Lee speaking on top of it. And then the last part is also singing, but not so much a song, but more like a, a mantra, a message. It's really beautiful. So, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And we're going to end with a question from the wonderful Debbie Pugh, who we all know and love so well. Um, would you both consider doing a music workshop together for people to come and play and improvise with you both? I think that would be amazing. Um, yeah. You know, we, we, we were supposed to be in Costa Rica um, a month ago um, and we would have been, we, we bring a lot of music to Costa Rica and we were also supposed to do a European um, tour in June where Devor and I were going to bring, bring music to every destination for the first time. So for me, the evolution would be um, that we could have the lyrics on a screen behind us and everyone can just sing along. Um, that would be nice to do a group singing. I love the idea of an improvised music workshop. I guess it will all just depend on when and how we can go about um, being in person or him and me being in the same country so that if we're Zooming it out. But the problem is then you can't hear people. So being in a room would be special. It would. It was always lovely when, when, when it naturally happened in one of our workshops or, or Costa Rica or something. Um, when when everybody starts to sing, it's really lovely, and not just sing the, not just sing the the song, but remember when we did sometimes, um, when when everybody would just um, like just vocalize. Berlin, I remember in Berlin, I think that was one of the first times we did that. That yeah, was amazing. It was really amazing, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So yes, Debbie, definitely. That that's um that's that's definitely something for us to put put on the to do list. Um, and for any of you who are coming to Costa Rica in May, we look forward to playing some of these songs live and also playing some of the new songs live because we'll probably be close to completing the album by next May. So it'll be our first concert. It will. It will be our first official concert that's more of a, co a concert without the channeling piece involved too. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much, everyone who came today. It's been such a treat. And we've all had this date in our head for so long, like November 20th for like, you know, even months ahead of when you guys knew the release was coming. Um, so I just want to, again, thank everybody who's worked on this album all across the board. And... It makes me really happy that you have it. Oh, and there was one question that said, is it safe to listen to the album while driving? I listened to it twice once it was finished uh, while driving, and I know a few of the team have. So unless you space out when you're listening to um, ambient music when driving, I, I would think it's fine. Davor, do you have any final things you want to say? I'm really, really happy that... Um this is a part of my life, you know, it's a, it's, it's a dream. I've been dreaming from a small country of Slovenia and now, you know, people all over the world get to hear what we're creating. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's a, it's a dream and um, it's lovely. Thank to everybody in LHE. Yeah, I do music, but you do all the rest. It's it's the same, you know. It's 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 a together thing. Um, 
it wouldn't be enough if it was just nice music. I think everybody put their effort into it. Noah, Marty, Wendy, Trent, everybody, Nick, you know. So thank you, guys. It's our album. It's just not just me and Lee, okay? Yeah, <laughs> totally, totally. And the same goes for those, the amazing Darko um, and everyone who's starred in the videos and the people who've worked behind the scenes on the videos. So yay well thank you guys and um awakenalbum.com is where you can find the album in multiple formats uh you can find some beautifully designed merchandise items and you can also find links to apple music spotify itunes anywhere else that you like to download or stream your music so thanks. And uh, yeah, well, I guess we should do a listening party for the next album in September next year, the sequel. We'll see you, we'll see you before then. But um, yeah, we'll have to do another one of these next year. Cool. Thanks so much, guys. Take care and have a beautiful weekend. We hope you enjoy the album.